maybe Joe Biden was better off at the beach. They really shouldn't have let him end his vacation early and let him just ride this out until January 6th. But instead, somebody in their infinite wisdom thought it would be a good idea to invite Joe to Detroit, Michigan to support Kamala Harris in front of this crowd of union workers. Or maybe this is just another example of how Kamala Harris is incapable of standing on her own two feet. And without some form of emotional support, and without her emotional support, Blanky Tim, or is it Tom? <laughs> Those are the exact Midwestern values, qualities, and work ethic that make Tom, uh, will make Tom a great vice president. She needs somebody by her side. And that somebody is Joe Biden. You no longer be the manufacturing capital of the world. Where the hell is that written? Yeah. We are the greatest manufacturing city or county in the world, state in the world, city in the world. We're going to remain that way. Or as she calls him, Daddy. I've watched him with all the experts, foreign and domestic policy, would give us advice. Then we sit alone in a room, and she has a backbone like a ramrod. Yeah. And she has the moral compass of a saint. This woman knows what she's doing. President of the United States of America. Our next President of the United States of America. What do you guys think about that? Does that not, is that not just so cringe? Or does this qualify this Kamala Harris rally to be nominated for best kiss? <laughs> this has to be the look of one of the most unenthusiastic crowds I've ever seen before. Probably because they have no idea what this man with the bullhorn is yelling at them and also probably realize that he and his VP, vice president, and now Democratic nominee Kamala Harris are going to be the sole reason why they're going to be out of a job. But making major headlines is, in fact, actually Kamala Harris and her new accent. Back before the war broke out, I was a saucier in San Antonio. I bet I could call up some of them greens. Yeah, noodle some crawfish out the patty, yo. <laughs> I made some crab apples. For dessert now, yeah? Hey, yeah! Ha! Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a scene from Tropic Thunder. That was Robert Downey Jr. in his role as Kirk Lazarus. No, no, no. Here's Kamala Harris using her, her black accent on stage here. Let's just get through the next 64 days. How about that? Let's just get through the next 64 days. How about that? But the delivery was actually pretty good. I don't know if she rehearsed it or if she was just reading from memorization, which I think that's actually what the headphones were for. They serve two purposes. One, to avoid the press and not have to speak to reporters asking questions as she salutes and boards Air Force Two, I think, or was she just flipping her hair? I'm not really sure. Uh, but also for her to listen to the new script that they have written for her to read off the teleprompter when she gets to Detroit. So friends, 64 days until the most election of our lives. 64 days until the most election of our lives. Until the most election of our lives. Or not. Nah. <laughs> or nah. or maybe she's maybe she's just reading the same script over and over again and she's just changing her accent depending on what region of the country she's in. You better thank a union member. <laughs> Union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. You better thank unions for sick leave. Thank unions for paid family leave. Thank unions for your vacation time. And I do have some sad and tragic news to report. There has been a very bad accident blood and bones and broken glass and there's actually some footage of what it, we believe could possibly be what caused the accident so um uh here check this out
Yeah, so apparently Tim Walls' motorcade had an accident and uh, and hurt some people very badly. We talked about it on the live stream. Go check it out. In that live stream, I mean, we, we covered so many different, we, we covered so much ground in that live stream. So go check it out after this video. Breaking news just in. Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans has ruled that illegal immigrants do not have the right to vote. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> I think I read that wrong. It actually says illegal immigrants do not have the right to bear arms. Yeah, that's what it is. They don't have the right to bear arms. So they're not allowed to conceal carry or open carry any firearms. They have no constitutional rights when it comes to that. But the whole voting thing, uh, they don't really care about that. And in some states, they can even receive up to $150,000 towards the purchase of their own home. Oh, they don't have to they don't have to repay it either. The government just gives them that money. Now, somebody pointed this out. I wanted you guys to check it out. As Kamala Harris takes the stage at this rally in Detroit, it says she enters her event in Michigan and immediately gives a big hug to teachers union bosses Becky Pringle and Randy Weingarten who supported school closures that ruined an entire generation of children while each paying themselves north of $500,000 per year. Oh, and imagine explaining this to someone in 2019. Okay, so we're about to have a global pandemic. The entire world will shut down and the economy will crash. The deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Let us recap how this incredible day played out. The Dow just had its biggest point drop in history. Biden wins the 2020 election and then Twitter kicks Trump off the platform along with many of his followers. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win. The president's Twitter account has been suspended. Trump gets pissed and says, F it, I'm running again in 2024. And you know, Elon Musk, well, the billionaire who historically votes Democrat, yeah, he gets red-pilled and buys Twitter for $44 billion and changes the name to X. The world's richest man is now promising a Twitter makeover, renaming his own account Chief Twit and proclaiming the bird is free. Elon Musk carried a kitchen sink into Twitter HQ this week, tweeting, let that sink in. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. The first thing he does is he brings back everyone who was banned along with Trump. Trump gets arrested a few times, by the way, and just four months before the 2024 election, Trump dodged a literal bullet that almost blew his head off on live TV. Whose history in the making as a former American president is booked into county jail. And here is something we have never seen before, a presidential mugshot taken inside that jail in Georgia. Take a look at what happened. Oh, and I almost forgot. Kamala Harris is the Democratic candidate. And so, on behalf of the people, I accept your nomination to be president of the United States of America. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke. Everything woke, it's true. Everything woke turns to shit. You know, we have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. Look at what's happening.